will begin with the chords of the piece and I'll take them in C major scale. The original is in D major. The chord sequence is C major, G major, A minor, E minor, F, C, F and G. The first thing we must have in mind is the chord construction. And this is a very simple task. Here we have two types of chords. Major, the chords with only a capital letter, and minor chords, the ones with a small m. The formulas for the two kinds of chords are major chord, root plus four semitones plus three semitones, and minor chords, root plus three semitones plus four semitones. If we place our right hand with the first finger over C note, one, three and five fingers make the C major chord. Our third finger always makes the change from major to minor. C to E is four semitones, so major chord. And C to E flat is three semitones, so C minor chord. The easiest we recognize a 3 and a 4 semitone interval, the fastest will construct the chord. Your first task is to construct the chord sequence of this piece. Do your preparation and I'll show you the chords. Have in mind that your left hand always plays the root note. If you see, this chord sequence is played by simply putting our 1, 3, 5 fingers over the root note of every chord. C. C chord. Here are the four semitones. G chord. Here are the four semitones. A minor chord. Here are the three semitones. E minor chord. Here are the three semitones. And F major chord. Here are the four semitones. With little practice, you can play the major and minor chords starting from every note. Let's make our first approach by playing the bass note with our left hand and the chord in the root position with our right hand. Our first goal is to be able to play comfortably this sequence. I'll give you four beats and when you are ready, play along with me. Ready? <laughs> 